for the future and inshallah they too will become your flag bearers, your leaders, your reciters, your zakras of tomorrow so they need all the encouragement inshallah from this age. Uh, can I have a loud salawat for them please? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala take your community from strength to strength. So we're not here for, you know, we've got lots of elders here and, and I'm sure you're all here to listen but we're not here for you guys, we're here for the children. So. We want as many of the children to come forward as possible and to join in the recitation. And I'm sure there's a lot of children here who can recite. We want to hear you recite, we will recite. This is a very informal session, so it's not, there's no strict structure to it. We just want to, inshallah, make the most of this session for you guys. So come forward. Come. Come on. Come, come, come. So don't be shy. Come on. So, us and Zainab are going to recite one Marcia together, inshallah. Sorry? Abiyah oh, Batil, sorry. Okay. Um, we're going to recite one Marcia together, inshallah. And um, we will, it's called I will come crawling to Hussein, and inshallah everyone enjoys it. Yeah? Do you know that one? Okay, awesome. Okay, can we have a loud salawat, please? Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. Every day it cuts me inside. I'm so very far from your side. I would give away these eyes just to catch a glimpse of your shrine. If I had to cross the seas, every desert in between, I would come crawling. Oh, 
say You just have to look at this world And see your lovers are tortured and hurt They can use their tanks and their guns We will stand together as one They can tear us limb from limb But our souls will save from within I will come crawling to you, Jose I will come crawling to you, Jose They can They can cut my arms and my legs They can take everything that I have I will come crawling to you to say I will come crawling to you to say Salaam ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad
I will come crawling to you, said they, they crawling to you, said they could cut my arms and my legs. They could take everything that I have. They come crawling to you, said I will come crawling to you. Tragedy, 
My brother told me of this day as well. I knew what was to become of me. But even then I could not stand witness when I saw Shimmer walking to him. My mother, you cannot bear to see what they did to his broken body. Arrow in his heart, labor ripped apart. They have said, do not look yonder. When Fatima came to Karbala, Zainab said, Do not look yonder. Go back, O oh mother, they killed my brother. Zainab said, Do not look yonder. O oh mother, when he stood at the dress, the people who had now turned on him, he cried, I cry not for what shall happen to us, but that the cause of their doom is me. Even in this final moment, he could only think of their torments. How could they kill him? He came to help them. Zainab said, do not look on to her. When Fatima came to Karbala, Zainab said, do not look yonder, go back, O oh mother, they killed my brother. Zainab said, do not look yonder. Then her mother's eyes began to wander, another body she had to see. A new great fact dug in the morning, a young infant and there was buried. There lay the young cross and son of a son, and next to him the older Ali. But it was Ali, at last she came to the one they killed in his father's arms. What was the sin of this poor child? When the arrow hits, he had wailed. He cried, I'm thirsty, had they no mercy? Zainab said, do not look yourself. When Fatima came to Karbala, Zainab said, do not look yourself. Go back, oh mother, they've killed my brother. Zainab said, do not look yourself. Another had not joined them in their pain. She had also lost her only sons. Fatima held her head and went away to the river she wanted to go. Zainab knew what's for they had no searching her noble brother they could not see. His arms would show and lead them to him his, where there lay the rest of his body. He went to bring back for us water. Then we heard a shout, oh my brother. We saw the flag fell, that was the farewell. Zainab said, do not look yonder. When Fatima came to Karbala, Zainab said, do not look yonder. Go back, oh mother, they killed my brother. Zainab said, do not look yonder. So,
So I just wanted to just take a, a quick pause here and uh, recite some ashar uh, in praise of Muhammad Wa Ali Muhammad. Yes, inshallah. Um, so uh, if you guys prepare something, inshallah, in two minutes we'll get you up to recite. Is that okay? Inshallah. Um, so, and I want to take this from, we, recite, we heard Hadith al Kisa a little earlier. And I want you to imagine the complexity of the love of Allah SWT for Imam al Hussein and Imam al Hussein alayhi salam for God. Where in Hadith al Kisa we find that God says, Inni ma khalaqtu samaa mabniyan wala aradan madhiya wala qamara murin wala shamsa mudiyatan wala falaki yadu wala bahra yajri wala fulki yasri illa li ajalikum wa muhabbati ha wala al khusbu al-ladina hum tahta al-kisab Where God says, I did not create the heavens or the earth or I did not create the, the ground or the rivers that flow or the sun or the moon except in the love of the Ahlul Bayt So everything that God had, He created only and only for the Ahlul Bayt and the last of the Ahlul Bayt was Imam Hussein. And I want you to imagine that God has created everything for this one person, Imam Al Hussein, alayhi salam, amongst the Ahlul Bayt. He's created everything in the world, he's created me, he's created you, he's created us, he's created everyone in love of the Ahlul Bayt for Imam Al Hussein. And I want you to imagine on the plains of Karbala, Imam Al Hussein alayhi salam gave everything he had back for Allah SWT, which is why a poet quite beautifully says, Hussein le zikre khuda ko zinda bana diya. I want all your attention. Hussein ne zikre khuda ko zinda bana diya. Be naam thi karbala usse mualla bana diya. Hussein ne zikre khuda ko zinda bana diya. Be naam thi karbala usse mualla bana diya. Socho ke kitna pakiza hai ye khun hai Hussein. Socho ke kitna pakiza hai ye khun hai Hussein. Aray jab kira khak be to khak e shifa bana diya. Allah 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 قرآن جس کو تیرا حوالہ نہیں ملا آنکھیں تو مل گئی ہے اجالہ نہیں ملا قرآن جس کو تیرا حوالہ نہیں ملا آنکھیں تو مل گئی ہے اجالہ نہیں ملا فرش زمین پہ بولنے والے بہت ملے فرش زمین پہ بولنے والے بہت ملے نوکے سنا پہ بولنے والا نہیں ملا Noke sinape bolne wala nahi mila. And seeing all the children today reminds me of just one more poem that I want to present today. Where we say to our 12th Imam, Behlu me teh haidre karar ki tara. Behlu me teh haidre karar ki tara. Gandhe pe alam jafre teyar ki tara. Behlu me teh haidre karar ki tara. Gandhe pe alam jafre teyar ki tara. کاندھے پہ علم جعفر تیار کی طرح جب انتقام لوگے حسین شہید کے جب انتقام لوگے حسین شہید کے ہم بھی چلیں گے ساتھ میں مختار کی طرح جب انتقام لوگے حسین شہید کے ہم بھی چلیں گے ساتھ میں مختار کی طرح so for the love and for the grace and for the blessings of all the young ones that are gathered here today along with everyone else Please recite the loudest of your voices. Sallu ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. Do you guys want to come forward? What are your names?
Saja, you are the great grandson of Muhammad. Inside your veins flows the purest of blood. And left you set heaven like a rosebud. And left you set forever in this world. Your name will live on forever now. Till death can be in our hearts we vow. Oh my mom, oh my mom, say not abedim. Oh my mom, say not abedim. Oh Sajad, you were in prison, your feet were in chains, and on those chains fluttered where your blood stains. And inside your heart were those scars of those pains of what you saw that day on the Patient personified, you think to love though your hands were tied. Oh my mom, oh my mom, say what I believe. Oh my mom, say what I believe. Oh such a your father's head on a spear, your mother's head. That blood was pouring down from her ear. And yet you two were so afraid that you spoke. And in that courtyard, the world awoke. Oh, my mom, oh, my mom, say not Abedin. Oh, my mom, say not Abedin. Oh, Sajaj, with quaking channels, you dug a small grave. Resting place for Sakina to get her shroud was forever covered in blessing till end of time. That's how she will stay until today. She's so far from home in the dark and she's So we've, we've obviously not come here with a plan as such. So if there's any requests from any of the children, <coughs> even the elders, we're more than happy to fulfill those requests. If not, then we will just continue continue on our merry way and, and recite whatever we want to. So if there's any specific requests, we're more than happy to take them. Any? No requests? Okay. Yeah? No request? Okay. Okay. What is that going to be? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Can you have a last for what? Dashti karibal me tera ala shiti no pe para Ro rahi thi ye zami asma ro tarha Hai madar vo teri ben ye karti rahi اے میرے پیارے حسین گود میں آب و ذرا سرخت فاطمت الحسین قتل یقتو علی السحن و حبیبی ولدی وارث علم نبی یا حسین بن علی تیرے صدقے سے ملی تیرے اصغر کا بھلا تیرے اکبر کا جکر بھائی آپاس کے غم میں تیری ٹوٹی کمر اور پامال بدن رن میں قاسم کا ہوا ایک دن میں ہی لٹا کر بلا میں تیرا گھر زبحو کل بنی 
تسجد وانت جبين تشكر خالقك يا إله الزلي وارسل المنبي يا حسين ابن علي تير الصدق اسم لي سندني هم كله عصر يا شور كفاك كسي هم بول سكي آي آواز عذاب كوري سكري خيم كي در بتري بن خورو تري خاطرا پاک کلا شمر کے تیغ تلے اکتبو کیف انا ربک ينظرک ثم اللہ یقول ارجعی لا ربکی وارسی علم نبی یا حسین بن علی تیر صدق سے ملی زندگی ہم کو یہی آگ سے خیمے چلے سر سے چادر پیچھنی دشت میں تنہا سکینہ تیری روتی رہی توق میں باندھا گیا تیری عابد کا گلا تیری مظلوم بہن بیری دا شام چلی اشعلو کل خیام فیہا بنا علماء اذهبوا وحل النبي إلى قصر اللموي وارس علم نبي يا حسين بن علي إلى صدق سملي زندقي هم كويهي زندقي هم كويهي صلى الله على محمد وعلى محمد أبو الفضل العباس عليه الصلاة والسلام اللهم صل على So I want all of your attention كتنا معصوم هي بيارا هي بلا هي عباس كتنا معصوم هي بيارا هي بلا هي عباس قول من مصحف ناتك كي بلا هي عباس كتنا معصوم هي بيارا هي بلا هي عباس قول من مصحف ناتك كي بلا هي عباس دلے حیدر قرار کی تمنا ہے عباس دلے حیدر قرار کی تمنا ہے عباس دن میں سورج سے بڑا ہے عباس دن میں سورج سے بڑا ہے عباس فاطمہ زہرہ کی مو مانگی دعا ہے عباس دن میں سورج سے بڑا ہے عباس فاطمہ زہرہ کی مو مانگی دعا ہے عباس علی پنجتن پانچ نے ایک ساتھ مل کے دعا مانگی پنجتن پانچ نے ایک ساتھ مل کے دعا مانگی تب کہیں جا کے زمانے کو ملا ہے پنجتن پانچ نے ایک ساتھ مل کے دعا مانگی تب کہیں جا کے زمانے کو ملا ہے عباس اس طرح جنگ کے میدان میں کھڑا ہے عباس اس طرح جنگ کے میدان میں کھرا ہے عباس سوچئے حیدر قرار ہے یا ہے عباس سوچئے حیدر قرار ہے یا ہے عباس تو باپ اگر چاہے در خیبر لے لے باپ اگر چاہے در خیبر لے لے بیٹا اگر چلو میں چاہے سمندر لے لے تو باپ اگر چاہے در خیبر لے لے بیٹا اگر چلو میں چاہے سمندر لے لے بیٹا اگر چلو میں چاہے سمندر لے لے درود پر محمد و آلہ محمد close your eyes for a moment. You see, as we sit here, we may be in Dallas, Texas, but as we sit here, our bodies are finite, but our souls are infinite. Our bodies may be here, but our souls can travel. We're not confined by the laws of time and space. If we want, we can make our souls transfer to Karbala. And I want you to just take a minute to think about this scene on the plains of Karbala on the day of Ashura in 61 AH. Imam al Hussein was at the foot of his tents looking out towards the battlefield and you see there's one individual that Imam al Hussein called his back. Why? 
Because Imam Ali السلام, in his hadith says that when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala puts a trial or tribulation on you, don't pray for it to go away. Pray that when you have that trial or tribulation, Allah gives you a strong back. Abu al-Fadl al-Abbas with Imam al-Husayn's back. On the day of Ashura, as Abu al-Fadl al-Abbas rode into the battlefield, Imam al-Husayn felt in his heart that he had hope. But whilst the alam was there, that hope was there. For a second, the alam went towards the right. Imam al-Husayn's heart sank. The alam went towards the left. Hussein's heart sank even more, then the alam fell. He turned around to his sister and said, Zainab al-Abbas has fallen. Imam al-Husayn runs to the battlefield. He takes the head of his beloved brother in his laps. He says to Abu al-Fadl al-Abbas, he says, what's happened to you, my brother? Abu al-Fadl al-Abbas says, he says, my brother, I have one last request of you as I'm dying. He says, brother, my mother told me when I was born, my very first vision, my very first image when I opened my eyes was your face. I want to see your face one last time. She says, as Abu al-Fadl al-Abbas says that, brother, I will not give you this zahmat if I had my bazu with me, if I had my arms with me, but there's one problem in my eye. In one eye, there's an arrow embedded inside. In the other eye, I've got some blood. Mona, if it's not too difficult for you, with the hem of your abba, please clean the blood from my eye. Imam al Hussein does that, and Abu Fadl al Abbas does this yard to Imam al Hussein. Imam al Hussein says, Abbas, you've done, you've got your khahish, you've got your wish, now it's my turn. He said, Abbas, from the moment you were born until this very moment as you're dying, you have never called me your brother, you've always called me Imam al Zamani, you've called me your Aqa, my master. Abu Fadl, for the last time as you departed from this world, just call me your brother once. Oh, look at 
نجف کا پھر غازی نے کہا بابا اب پاس نہیں بازو میں کیا کروں یا زہرا مولا ہے کہ نام کر پلے میں بچی ہے بس شبیر کی تنہاری فریاد سنو میری ایک بار مجھے بھائی کہ سن کر صدا شہ کی عباس قطن ترپا چلتی ہوئی ریتی پر غازی کا بدن لرزا کیسے میرے آقا میں جاؤں در خیمے پر جب پاس نہیں پانی فریاد سنو میری ایک بار مجھے بھائی کہہ کر تو بلا غازی اور سب سے بڑی مصیبت یہ ہے آقا میں سوئے خیمہ ہر کسے نہیں چاہوں گا اگر مو 
را به روی گذاری به پایش یا بیرن یا بیرن خریداری آری بگو چند جمعه گذشتی زیخابت شن نازی در لد به هزار یاری به شانه کشیدی و مثلین هش را و یا چون بقیه تو سنبان یاری اگر یک نفر را به او بسر کردی برای سپاهش تو سندان یاری به گریه شبی را سر کردی آنم شمکنار بی جا و بیمار یاری ترا شفته بودن دلیل کمی نیست اگر می قراری به دنیا ریاری و پایان این می قراری بهش هست بهشتی که سر خود زدی داری یاری نصیب کرامت و زیدن گرفته و باران رحمت چکیدن گرفته و با و با دام دوزی نگاه تخت رو به مردم که بازار یوسف فروشی در این نوعی بچه دیدن گرفته خدایا به روی درکشان مهدی به ظلف سیاه و پریشان مهدی به قلب روپش که دریای دامش به جشمان رسوس گریان مهدی به لبای گرم علی و علیش به ذکر حسین و حسن جان مهدی به دست کریم و نگاه رحیمش به جشم امید فرمیران مهدی به حال نیاز و کروت نمازش به سبان و سبان و سبان مهدی به برک نگاه و به خال سیاهش به ایت ملی و لیوان مهدی به حج جمیلش به جای جلیلش به ذات جازی کران مهدی به صبح ایراق و شبنگاه شامش به آهنگ سمت خلاصان مهدی به جان داده های مسیر عبورش به شهد شهود شهیدان مهدی Jotabi 
बीवी के पर्दे का साबित अपने बाजू कटा के वो सोया उनकी उसकी वही डाला हो गया सुहेदा सारी फातिमा का खुला सर Hey, Jonah, uh-huh. oh, 
passing away, he said no. He said, was it the moment when Abu Fadl al-Abbas's arm was severed? He said no. He was asked several occasions, was it this moment, was it that moment? He said no. He was asked, so what moment was it that broke you? He said it was the moment that Imam al Hussein and Ibi Sakina separated, that final moment on the battlefield. Why? I've been thinking of this moment for many, many years and I could not work out why. And then finally, when I went to the shrine of Sayyid the Sakina, it hit me. You see, there is a very unique relationship between a father and a daughter. Why? Because whenever a daughter is in trouble, the father will always stand forward and protect her. Oh, Hussein Zgaribi, he knew on that day what trials would befell his daughter. You see, Imam Hussein's tragedy and his trials ended in Karbala, but Bibi Sakina's trials continued all the way to Shah. In the same way that her father was beaten, she was also beaten. In the same way her father was bruised, she was also bruised. In the same way that she was buried without even a shroud, with the way he was buried without even a shroud, she was also buried without a shroud. But you see, there's one big difference between the two. Imam al Hussein was surrounded by 72 of his loved ones. You look at Sayyidah Sakina, she's dark, she's alone in a dark dungeon. Up until like, a few years ago, we could say to Bibi Sakina, Oh Sakina, your father's condolences, we will come to give to you, to your shrine, but even now, today, we can't even do that. She's alone even today in that dark prison. But you see, Bibi Sakina was the grandson, was the granddaughter of Ali ibn Abi Talib. She was the daughter of Imam al Hussein and the niece of Al Fadl al Abbas. And she must have said to her father, Father, I can bear all the pains in this world, but the only pain I cannot bear is the separation from you. And she must have said, No matter what trials I face, the memory won't be erased. Oh Father, the final embrace I will not forget that day Or the moment that we parted ways Oh Father, the final embrace And the 
desert where you would die. We cried in each other's arms, forever we would be apart. My fate would be the prison of Sham. We both will be bloodied and bruised and buried without a shroud. The only difference is I will have no loved ones around. A dark and secluded jail is my ultimate resting place. Oh, Father, the final embrace. I crawled on my hands and knees and clung to your horse's hooves. I cried and I pleaded with him to stay still and not to move. Please don't take my father away. I can't sleep without his chest. He has been left all alone. Please don't take him to his death. He is broken and wounded and thirsty for many things. Oh, Father, the final embrace. You got off your horse and smiled. Then open your arms to me I ran into your embrace And held you so lovingly I said if you have to go I have got one last request For only a little while Please let me sleep on your chair you laid on the burning sands Without uttering a phrase Oh Father, the final embrace I place my head on your chest And as my eyes shut I saw A lady dressed all in black she cried out, let my son go. It may cradle you right now, but soon I will cradle him when he falls from that great height and brutally will be killed. I got off immediately with tears in my eyes. The dark nights of the prison A place I will not forget In my final moments there I missed you so much and wept To silence my endless cries your killers returned your head I held your head to my chest I then shut my eyes and slept My heart finally at peace I never awoke again Oh Father We've already talked about a relationship between the father and the daughter. Now think about the plight of Imam Zainu Abidin as he's there in the final night. He looks at the body of his sister. It is said in the narrations, in the maqtal, in the narrations of that final night in the dungeons, when Bibi Sakina breathed her last 
the ladies of the Ahl al-Bayt were giving her ghusl. They said to Imam al-Sajjad, what is wrong with this girl? Her body is blue, her body is green and bruised. Imam al-Sajjad said she's been beaten so much that her body is not even the same color as it was. They said that Sajjad, we cannot even take her clothing off her so we can give her ghusl. Imam al-Sajjad says this is the number of, this is the type of beatings that she's had. It is said that the scalding hot water was poured on her from the from the bazaar, from the roofs of the bazaar, and her clothes became stuck to her body. That is the plight of Sayyidah Sakina. You see, when you think about this narration, just remember one thing. This girl was only four years old. Imam Sajjad's plight, he watched this whole thing, but this is the tribulation of Imam Sajjad, that he could not even do a single thing. He watched all of this unfold and he could only watch and do nothing about it because his hands were tied. He was in chains and he was tied to a camel. That final night, what must he have said to his sister? I could not do anymore. I promised my hands were tied. As I lay you in your grave, all alone tonight, my sister, I'm sorry, please forgive me. I raised you with so much love, I fed you with these hands, I could never see you cry. Your wish always was my command I used to play with you As though we were best friends Today I am burying you in this foreign land You were always frightened Of the dark when it was night Forever you lay in a prison where there's no light. My sister, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Is this how this brother will get to say goodbye? Your body is golden. So sunken are your eyes The slaps you have on your face The sound of your final cries The state of your body Will haunt me until I die As I use my bare hands To make a grave in the ground how can I forgive myself? You don't even have a shroud. My sister, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. My sister, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. The night of the orphans, when the tents were all you entered the battlefield where bodies lay like a maze. You found our father on his chest, your cheeks you placed. You found peaceful moments before we were dragged away. We walked on a long road when nights turned into days and tied to a camel your body was in chains my sister i'm sorry please forgive me my sister i'm sorry please forgive those nights in the dungeons Where you weren't allowed to cry You stared hopefully at The doves as they used to fly 
you wanted to go home and leave all this hurt behind if you asked for freedom you would get slaps in reply i'd say to console you that we will go home soon but now you are laying alone in a darkened tomb my sister i'm sorry please forgive me please forgive me Oh, no. 
Every day it cuts me inside I'm so very far from your side I would give away these eyes Just to catch a glimpse of your shrine If I have to cross the seas Every desert in between I will come crawling They can cut my arms and my legs They can take everything that I have I will come crawling to you, Jose I will come crawling to you, Jose I can tell you that I'm insane In the love of my master, Jose In this universe there's no Never keep me away Every inch that I come your way Every beat of my heart will say I will come crawling to you, Jose I will come crawling to you, Jose They can cut my They can use their tanks and their guns We will stand together as one They can tear us limb from limb But our souls will save from within I will come crawling to you, Hussein I will come crawling to you, Hussein They can cut my They can put a gun to my head They can threaten to shoot me dead They can wound me till I'm red They can try to kill me in jail With my every remaining breath With every ounce of strength I possess I will come crawling to you and say I will come crawling to you, Jose. They can cut my arms and my legs. They can take everything that I have. I will come crawling to you, Jose. I will come crawling to you, Jose. This is not my state, oh, Jose. I am so overwhelmed with pain. Who can I turn to and explain All the grief that my heart now contains Who can I now call for help Pinning all my hopes on yourself I will come crawling to you, Jose I will come crawling to you, Jose Inshallah, let's make this final dua. They say when you breathe your last, you recall your entire past. When my life flashes past so fast, I pray that in my final gasp, death will be the sweetest taste. When I see your radiant face, I will come crawling to you.